Good morning, uh, Dr. Goldberg here. Reviewing our antibiotic update today, we're going to talk about cephalosporin generations. Very important uh, aspect of cephalosporins is understanding the generations. First generation cephalosporins we call cephazola. The oral equivalent is cephadroxyl or cephalexin. Cephazolin has been a workhorse cephalosporin for decades. Very effective for MSSA infections, uh, beta strep infections, alpha strep infections, such as strep uh, virdans infections, as well as uh, good for tribe 1 gram negative rod infections, such as E. coli, Proteus, and Klebsiella infections, for the most part. The oral equivalents are very good also. Cephadroxyl has got a longer half life than cephalexin. Uh, but uh, very effective uh, for soft tissue infections as well as even urinary tract infections. Second generation cephalosporins are cefoxitin and cefatitan IV, which are good for not only staph and strep, but also uh, anaerobes such as B. fragile. And then, of course, the simple gram negative uh, tribe 1 rods such as E. coli, Klebsiella, and Proteus. Certainly are going to be used in intra-abdominal infections empirically, though their anaerobic infection is uh, anaerobic coverage is not as good as some of the other uh, antibiotics. The oral cephalosporin that I like to use is cefuroxime, that's second generation, or ceftin. Very good antibiotic uh, for staph, strep, as well as H flu. Pastorella, so good for uh, cat and uh, dog bite infections. Uh, and also good for uh, respiratory infections, exacerbation of COPD, uh, that type of uh, infection. Our third generation cephalosporins are, the ones that we use are rocephin, which is ceftriaxone IV, and ceftazidime IV. Ceftazidime is more gram-negative aerobic coverage, uh, more of the covering the tenacious gram-negative, such as Pseudomonas, Enterobacter, uh, Serratia, those types of uh, in, in uh, bacteria. And rocephin, of course, has a longer half-life. We like it for our orthopedic infections. Uh, has very good staph and strep coverage, but very good penetration into joints and bone. So it's been a workhorse antibiotic because we can use it once a day in the outpatient setting in those infections. Our fourth generation cephalosporin is cefepime which is interestingly a zwitter ion, but a very good uh, antibiotic intravenously in our nosocomial infections, such as nosocomial pneumonia. has excellent gram-negative aerobic coverage, probably equivalent certainly to ceftazidine, uh, but it's got the, the uh, gram-positive coxide coverage of ANSEF. Uh, so we like this antibiotic, especially in our nosocomial infections. Lastly, our fifth generation cephalosporin is IV. Ceftaroline recently came out in the last couple of years. Uh, actually has MRSA in, uh, coverage, which has been a big help in our patients with serious soft tissue infections uh, from MRSA, but also uh, is good for MSSA, strep infections, as well as uh, has coverage for pneumococcus and uh, respiratory infection. So having an understanding of these cephalosporins uh, and their generations is very helpful. Uh, and hopefully uh, just this brief scenario will uh, aid you in thinking about cephalosporins in general. Dr. Goldberg signing off.